Four reasons why AutoCAD is hard to learn. If you are just starting to learn the software, then this video is for you. If you're feeling frustrated or overwhelmed with AutoCAD, then you're not to blame. It is definitely one of the most challenging design software to learn out there. I will talk about all these challenges and what you can potentially do about it. My name is Jay and I'm the founder of JCAD. I make AutoCAD tutorials on YouTube and I focus on AutoCAD for Mac. Let's dive in. The first challenge with AutoCAD is actually the interface itself, because once you open it, you are going to see literally buttons in all four directions, up and down, left and right. And you're probably thinking to yourself, wow, do I need to learn all of this and master it to be able to comfortably do my projects and do my drawings? And the answer is no, you don't have to know all these buttons and commands. If you're a beginner, you can start by knowing about 25 commands. You want to focus on the drawing commands and the modifying commands as a starter. And then the next phase, if let's say you are an advanced user, then you're probably going to know about 50 commands. Okay. And if you're a pro, maybe you will know 100 or 200 of all the settings and the commands. But realistically, you will still be using 50 to 100 commands on a day to day basis. You're not going to use all of them. So my first advice, don't be overwhelmed by the interface. Most of the things that you are seeing here, you're not gonna need them and you're not gonna use them. The next challenge with AutoCAD is actually the settings of the drawing itself. When you start a drawing by default in AutoCAD, a lot of the settings are not set up to mostly everyone's liking, at least for me when I'm doing architectural plans and doing uh, floor plans mainly, it's really challenging to work with the text and the dimension and the units and specifically the units because I use inches and feet being in the US and you're going to have to change that setting. So I'll show you what I mean. If I start a drawing right now and you start doing a line, for example, and you try to type two feet, it will not understand it. It will not draw it. So you need to change the units. You need to change the text size because the text, when you start a text, usually it comes out. Uh, very, very small compared to a drawing. So you will also need to modify that. And then there's also the dimension settings. So all these settings, all in all, this, is, this makes it, in my opinion, the second biggest challenge when learning AutoCAD is having all these settings figured out. So what you can do about it is essentially learn how to change the text size. You want to learn how to change the, the dimension size, changing the units, and I guess the force Thing is basically printing to a PDF, which is what all of us almost want to do when we're done with our design or our drawing. So these, I believe, are the four main settings you want to know um, to be able to work comfortably with AutoCAD. The third challenge when working with AutoCAD is actually being familiar with digital design concepts. What do I mean? I'm talking about layers and external references. So for example, this drawing right here, I've organized it using layers. The layers allow us to uh, basically organize our objects, allow us to hide them, to assign them line width, and that's at least in AutoCAD. In other software, a lot of the other design software, they all work kind of the same. Photoshop has layers, Illustrator. If you're using web tools like Canva or Adobe Express, they mostly all share the same concepts of digital design. And just like layers, you want to know about external references or attachments, which is basically the concept of adding another drawing to your drawing or to your file or project and basically having a link between them and understanding how that can be problematic sometimes, what can you do to maintain it properly and how to use it like easily. So these are like the next two things you want to understand, which are the layers and the external references. And in my opinion, if you understand layers and external references in AutoCAD, where you are already an advanced user of the software. The last thing that I believe makes AutoCAD challenging to learn and to work with is actually you knowing about the drafting standards. It doesn't have to do about the software. It's about the user itself knowing and understanding how to put drawings together how to represent a door, how to represent a window, how to represent the floor plan, what are the different symbols. So understanding of all of these elements, I believe is key for you knowing how to use AutoCAD comfortably and even Revit later on, once you understand all the software all, or essentially like the symbols and how to put a project together. So once you are up to speed with the drafting standards, 
AutoCAD becomes just a tool and there's really the challenge becomes just learning the software. You don't have any challenges with your learning or with, with your existing knowledge, essentially. So that sums up the four challenges about AutoCAD. I talked about the interface. Like I said, you can ignore most of these buttons. You don't need most of them. The second challenge is essentially the upstart settings like the text, the dimension, and setting up the units. The third one is understanding how a digital design software works, AutoCAD or other design software, and concepts such as layers and external references. And the last challenge is understanding the drafting standards, how to do drawings that everyone will understand after you created them. Can you think of any more challenges to AutoCAD? I mean, I'm sure everyone has like a thousand challenges, but anyway, if you do, please leave them in the comment. And if this video helped you today, please like and subscribe. See you in the next one.